Hello everyone, this is Ian Ormus with Tech Defense, and today we're going to go over IPv6 hacking with SOCAT and anything on Tech Tip Episode 8. Alright everyone, so today we're going to talk about IPv6 hacking, um, and as the title shows over here, we're going to use SOCAT, and uh, then I'll show you, you know, how to uh, use tools with SOCAT, and our demo we're going to use uh, Nick2. So, uh, IPv6 hacking, uh, obviously on the rise, uh, obviously something we need to pay attention to, attention to especially as uh, pen testers, um, as uh, more organizations are starting to leverage IPv6, we have to be prepared to you know, show them how vulnerable they are still or how more vulnerable they may be because they haven't taken the appropriate precautions. So a little bit of uh, background information in the lab here. I have two machines set up. I have the Backtrack 5 pen tester set up on this IPv6 address over here. And I have a web server set up with a damn vulnerable web app, DVWA, with this address here set up right here. And you can see I'm just using uh, XAMPP and uh, damn vulnerable web app here. Um, just to have something to hit. So, uh, natively, a lot of the tools that we would normally want to use to attack an environment, uh, such as uh, an IPv6 uh, a web server, we don't have the ability to use because there's no native support for IPv6 within those tools. Um, so, quickly, I'll show you here. I just uh, I do have the ability to ping over there. So ping to this guy, it's working. So we are connecting over. Additionally, I have a uh, netstat running. So when we run this, I want you to make sure uh, that I am not listening on anything on 80 right now. So when I'm doing this test, I am actually hitting this guy over here. I'm not sticking within this environment. But so for instance, Nick2 here, doesn't have any native IPv6 support. So as you can see, I tried to run this a few times here against uh, using our, our common commands against this host here, which is our guy over there. Now I could set this up to do it by DNS name and set a host entry to point to this guy, but there's still some issues with that. Uh, you know, so it's best to use some type of proxying in order to um, you know use these tools. So what I did, and what you can do, is use SOCAT. So SOCAT allows us to set up a listener that's going to forward our traffic, uh, or con create a connection between our host and our, our listener here, in a fashion that'll allow us to send traffic to our host over here, um, and continue with our pen test as we would normally. So let's bring this up here. So this is the command we're going to use here for SOCAT. Um, so we're setting up the listener 8080. We could use whatever we wanted. I just wanted to choose something we weren't already using. Uh, reuse address, the option is described here, but basically allows other things to bind to that address even though I'm already using it. And uh, the fork command um, is described here. Um, basically allowing us to create more connections off of that uh, off of that bind or off of that process. So I'm going to set up SOCAT here to listen on 8080 and you can see here in the TCP6 portion I am forwarding that traffic to this address which is that web server over here on port 80. So anytime alright so now it's set up and it's listening so now anytime I uh, attempt to hit myself the loopback on 8080 is going to send that traffic to this IPv6 address that's over here. So now to show you um, we're not listening at 80 but we are listening on 8080 for here. So for instance if we go over here now to Nick2 where I already have the command set up. So over here you can see we are trying to do it by host, uh, the IPv6 host, and that didn't work. 
and that didn't work because we can't connect uh, or there's no native support in Nick2 for uh, IPv6 address schemes. So rather than try to use this, we set up SOCAT to listen at 8080, and now when we connect to the host 127.0.0.1 on port 8080, we no longer get this issue here where we had errors. We see it's already starting to uh, run its vulnerability check. So NIC2, for those who may not be familiar, um, is just a web vulnerability scanner. And as we are scanning the damn vulnerable web app over here, and I have the security settings set to low on it, I believe. Security level low. Um, so as we have it set up in that fashion, I would expect this to find a whole lot. But it does take a little time to run, so in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and pause, and I'll resume once it starts back up. Okay, so uh, we're back, and you can see that it's completed the scan. So we scanned what it looks to be our local host, but in fact, it's actually using SOCAT to get forwarded on to the web server on board 80. Um, it found that the server is two, uh, Apache 2.4.2 running this particular version of PHP. Um, so now we could go through and do our normal things that we would do as pen testers, see if there's any vulnerabilities with this version of Apache or this version of PHP, and start running uh, the appropriate tools against that. Um, but as you can see, it, it was able to do the scan as we expected it would be able to. Uh, it gave us some good information back that we could then use to continue our pen test. But the point of this was that while NIC2 doesn't have any native IPv6 support um, or usage, we can still do it by forwarding the traffic with SOCAT. And that will work with pretty much any tool that we have uh, at our disposal. So if you find yourself unable to do a pen test because you're using IPv6, and uh, or because it's IPv6 and the tool you want to use isn't compatible, this is your way around that. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this is another quick one. Let me know if you guys are enjoying the, the quick version versus the long version, um, and I will adjust accordingly. Uh, like always, you can go to techdefense.com to see more like this. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, hit me up at eenormous at techdefense.com. Thank you.